हेलो गाइस वन मोर वीडियो अबाउट द मैच ग्रेड ट्रिगर ऑफ इम्पैक्ट हेयर यू कैन सी प्लीज ब्रिंग क्लोज हेयर यू कैन सी द सीयर दैट आई हैव आल्सो शोन यू इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस दिस इज द सीयर दैट आई हैव मेड दिस इज दिस रिप्लेसेस द सीयर व्हिच इज दिस व्हिच इज द ओ ई एम एफ एक्स सीयर दिस इज द एफ एक्स ओरिजिनल सीयर आई एम नॉट यूजिंग दिस सीयर I am rather rather using this year, and the design of this year is like this. Please focus this one. Uh, light is not coming. Yes, this like this. Okay, focus it, please. Touch the screen. Yes, this is the year, and it has flexibility, right? It moves, and it this year has adjustment uh, through this screw and through this set screw, right? And it has a here a pin. Uh, through which that is the pivot point, and this hole is for the same pin uh, where this where the pin of this for this wheel uh, sear goes, right? So uh, I have tried not to change. I, I mean there were a, a lot of limitations in here, so uh, we were not able to uh, redesign 100% all the trigger, but uh, whatever was possible that we have redesigned this. upper sear is the same oem sear right we have removed here here usually here is a pin there are normally five pins 1 2 3 4 right fifth is the pin here that i have removed right we we don't need in this setup of that uh, pin right now see how this uh, trigger works bring it here now you see when i move it let me cock it bring close focus on that yes now see when when i squeeze the trigger to first stage there is no movement in the lower sear that i have made right so an extremely light spring is pulling it every time away this is the first first stage and here comes the wall and next it breaks right so whenever i pull it to first stage it is uh, due to this very light spring it is extremely li light but it always come back and it comes back because that sear which i have mentioned now please bring the light here yes here this this one this doesn't move right trigger is moving but this lower sear is not moving it is i mean dangling uh, on that pivot pin that i had shown you right and when it breaks it it moves only when the second stage is is broken here is first stage and here here it goes here it goes here it goes like this okay so till the first stage there is no no movement except the spring movement and the movement of the trigger right so what happens in our regular impact this is the regular setup of impact right what happens here when we cock it right the sear the wheel sear goes ahead and when see when i move when i bring it to first stage focus it touch it there yes now when i touch it you see the sear uh, wheel moves right now the problem is that as the upper sear that is touching the edge of the wheel sear as that upper sear has a load due to the hammer right sometimes when you put a lighter spring to make the uh, the trigger lighter the first stage lighter sometimes it comes back and sometimes it doesn't right it it stops here and doesn't come back so it happens with this trigger and when you uh, want it to every time come back after the first stage then what happens you have to make the trigger a bit hard so this trigger does not give the perfect feeling of a match trigger it's still hard okay it's it's hard that is why it is coming back now i reduce the weight a bit right and now you see 
does it come back now you see now it is stuck it is stuck there as i reduce the weight right it doesn't come back no you see it it has become a bit sticky second stage has become better but the first stage sometimes that come back and sometimes it is sticky and the more i reduce the weight by turning this plunger screw counter clockwise a bit now what will happen it will further stick there right it is sticking and every time i have to push that away to regain the first stage right so this was the issue and in my previous videos two videos i had shown the reason behind it and i had shown i have shown the <coughs> modifications that i have made to uh, to the oh, how you are not showing it here yeah. this okay so these are the no take a bigger picture like this okay now uh, these are two kinds of shears right the difference i have shown that it is movable and this shear is adjustable from here right this screw and this screw these two screws uh, controls this travel right and it is hanging with this pin pivot pin on the other hand this original uh, shear that is a wheel shear that is not adjustable it is fixed with this screw right so that benefit which we obtain from this system that is not there with this system in this system if i put extremely lighter spring even then it comes back every time now let's come this this was one of the one more experiment but i mean uh, during this phase research and development uh, you know that a lot of things go waste and uh, we have to make uh, many many experiments anyhow now i disassemble the my latest version and i show you that how is that how does that look look like okay please this is what i have installed and this is what i have installed and what i have been uh, testing uh, for some days now i remove it and to show you you see very easily the pin come comes out like this right and this system comes like this okay now see the difference as i am going ahead in my experiments and i am developing it now you can see that in this first experiment my trigger bar was straight right but in this second experiment i have given a bend here and from here it is going upward right the reason being that if you see my previous video you will see that with this setup with this kind of bar the rear part of the of this trigger bar was hanging right so we had to also adjust i mean eliminate that uh, hanging factor so in order to fix that we have from here we have uh, bent it to uh, upwards a bit right and now here in this trigger you can see how light is the spring right it's it's extremely light uh, light and even you can put even more light right further you can see that here i don't use plunger it is not ball ball detent it is not plunger screw it just a stop screw right so that to uh, eliminate the over travel after the gun is fired right and this is the uh, lock lock screw and this i am using the bsa trigger uh, trigger blade bsa trigger blade Uh, and this is the same and here these are those two adjustable screws through which i have made adjustments and i have achieved 
this travel which is working very fine with my gun okay now i reinstall it and i show you right please keep uh, the things in focus where i am working see with this very light trigger i mean there there uh, it's uh, a, bit, a bit difficult because that part is uh, hanging there so what i would have to do let me okay see you can see this is moving independent right so i have to find an alignment of for the hole of the pin take it away a bit upward so that i could see okay so now now this has been aligned the hole has been reasonably aligned where is the pin this is the pin and this goes in right the pin has gone inside and the spring the very light spring is there and you can see that how it works this is cocked this is very light first stage and here it breaks right now if i cock the gun and lock it put it onto safe safe mode right then what happens see it now it is on safe mode and it is not it is not firing right now if you put a bit more pressure on the trigger what will happen you you see that since this here has a pivot pin due to that when you you will uh, uh, press it a bit hard it will this this stickiness is there now it 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 wanted to move it this wanted to break focus it this wanted to break but due to safety it it is not breaking right so now to readjust it you just have to push it just a bit so this this is only when it is on safety and when you push it a bit forcefully like this okay now you see it has come from the top of the sear it has come a bit low so to put it back on the sear tip you just and it's okay now i put it off the safe position and now i put it on the fire mode right and this is again perfect right you can see that the sear that i have made that is not moving in first stage and gun is working fine i make a dry fire here right you see the movement during the dry fire first stage first stage this okay see again please make close yes you see this first stage this okay so this is the whole project to where i have reached and now uh, you can see that uh, now i have uh, reached to a point where uh, uh, all this all this i mean uh, it looks nice there is no issue in it apparently i mean cosmetically uh, there is no issue and if i want to put the um, i mean uh, trigger trigger uh, uh trigger lower plate here please pick, pick the phone camera it doesn't i put some screws here Now see if 
now if i install it right it doesn't touch this doesn't touch this bar right trigger guard is not touching it so everything looks nice now okay do you do you get it nothing nothing is looking i mean any and now i i tell you one thing that after doing all this now when i shoot this impact uh i cannot say that it has become more accurate uh, but i can surely say that it has become much easier to shoot accurately uh, i mean to say that the barrel is same the rack pressure the tuning things are same but due to a real match grade trigger i mean it is very easy to shoot this gun and due to the uh, pull weight of the trigger the gun doesn't move here and there and i can very gradually squeeze the trigger and with a very light squeeze with a very first stage extremely light which come comes everywhere back and when it comes to second stage and, and I, i have to break the second stage i have to break the trigger then it breaks amazingly crisp and amazingly i mean light so uh, one can adjust it i mean from 3 to 3 uh, 4 ounces to 15 ounces or whatever i mean around that and normally when we talk about target guns those are set for along that parameter uh, since my rows are set at around 6 ounces so now i see that my the trigger feel and the luxury of the trigger while shooting is as nice as good as is of my raw and uh, i mean this was the main the trigger war had always been the main deal, deal breaking for me i mean uh, the most uh, the biggest reason uh, of for me of not this gun uh, become becoming my go to gun but after this trigger mod i mean now it has become my go to gun so it's it's a luxury feeling to shoot while using it uh, through this trigger mode so guys uh, thank you very much